Hi there, welcome to this video. I hope that you are fine. Uh, sometimes you might want to print something when you are on Photoshop. Instead of saving it as PDF and then printing it using Adobe Acrobat, you can still print from Photoshop. But how can you set so that your print quality is better? In this video, I'll be showing you the best Photoshop printing settings for high quality printouts. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, this is my sample uh, that I just made so that I can show you. Uh -huh. Here is uh, uh, the sample on A4. What I want to do, I click on file, then click on print. And then this dialog box will load. And here we need to set some few settings. First, the color handling. I want to change from printer to Photoshop to manage the colors. On printer profile, we'll also change it. Make sure that you have your printer installed and then you will select the best quality from your printer. In my case, I have Stylus RX610 printer and uh, I'll choose the paper that I'm going to print on which is glossy. Then uh, here I'll just leave it at normal printing. That is just fine. On rendering intent you can choose among these four but then I found out that relative colorimetric is the best in this case so I'll select that. And then on this black point compensation, uh, I realized when I check it off, it gives me a good printout. Uh -huh. On description, I don't think if I need to set anything. And uh, here is just to check that the scale is 100%, meaning that that is set well. Uh -huh. You can also check out these printing marks if you want to include the printing marks. That is upon you, but I, for me, I don't need to put that. I think the above settings are just fine. So I'll scroll back uh, just like that. And then on color management, remember to disable the printer's color management in the print settings dialog box. So I'll click on print settings to make sure that it is off. First, I will choose the size. So you'll select your size. As for me, my size is A4. Then I will click on advance and here it has checked the ICM and no color adjustment meaning that Photoshop will manage the colors and that is what we want. On the quality you will choose the best quality as for me I'll choose fine just like that and then I think my settings are done here I'll click OK and then uh, just to check everything is fine. OK so I'll just click on print. And Photoshop will now run this. Click on, uh, I think this, just click proceed. And then Photoshop will run that and print this uh, very uh, project. Now I want to show you when uh, the printer manages the color. Okay, so I want to change from Photoshop to printer manages color. Then click on print settings. I will leave the settings as they are and then click OK. And then uh, uh -huh. that's fine. Click on print, then proceed. Okay, now Photoshop will do the rest of the work and print the second uh, printout. And here are the two printouts. On the left is when Photoshop manages the colors, on the right is when the printer manages the colors. You can see when Photoshop is managing the colors, they are brilliant. When now uh, the printer manages the colors, even the red becomes dull. So from this we find that if Photoshop will manage the colors, then we are going to realize a very quality printout. It will retain the colors, it will retain the gradients, it will retain the brightness and your printout will be stunning. But if you allow the printer to determine the colors, now the printer will do its own calibration and you know mix the colors and you find that it will miss on some of the colors. If you want the printer to manage the colors, then I would suggest that you save this document as a PDF 
and then run it in Adobe Acrobat and then print. When you do that and you allow the printer to manage the colors, at least the printout will be better compared when you are printing from Photoshop and then you allow the printer to manage the colors. I hope that this video helped you and if that is the case, please don't forget to boop that like button. And also you can share this video to your friends and family so that they can learn a thing or two. Before we conclude today's video, I have a project to purchase a camera which I'll be using to shoot my videos on this channel. If you want to be part of this project, please use the super thanks option to send me your contribution. I'll be very glad if you can appreciate me and help me purchase this camera. It has been my dream, but it is taking long because I don't have enough cash. So please, if you want to be part of this project, use the super thanks option to send me your contributions. Otherwise, I want you to click anywhere on the screen to watch our next video and I'm pretty sure that I will see you in that video. Peace.